Hey guys, so welcome back. Today's video, we're gonna talk about buying a new home. Is it a good time to buy a home? That's a very good question. You have asked, you've listened. Uh, so today's video, that's what we're gonna talk about. Now, those of you that are new to the channel, Las Cruces has a population of about 120,000. It is considered a small town. You know, you compare it to other towns and yeah, it's a pretty small town. One interesting fact about Las Cruces and why it hasn't grown. I mean, it is growing, but it hasn't grown like other uh, cities. Now, this is the reason um, the town of Las Cruces has a no donation clause. What does that mean? Well, what that means is that if you are going to start a new business, then they will not provide funds for you. Uh, other cities, if you start a business, they will loan you money so you can start that business. And, you know, you don't have to put everything out of your pocket. Well, not the city of Las Cruces. Now, there's a lot of other factors why it hasn't grown, but that's just one. All right, let's go into today's video about when is it a good time to buy a new home? A lot of people are asking, so we're gonna talk about that today. But if this is your first time to the channel and you'd like to know everything about living in Las Cruces, New Mexico, then uh, my wife and I would love to help you so you can make a smooth move to Las Cruces, New Mexico. Now we do get calls and emails from people just like you. So if you'd like to give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, book a Zoom video call, we can do that as well. So we can help you make a smooth move to Las Cruces, New Mexico. I have plenty of videos of showing the pros and the cons, especially if you've never known about Las Cruces. Check out those videos. There's videos of different areas in Las Cruces so you can see where you would like to live. Um, and there's videos that talk about that. And there's also a Google Maps so you can see where in the area I talk about the different communities. All right, guys. So let's get to it. Okay, guys, back to the question. Is it a good time to buy a home? Well, a home is an asset, so it's always good to buy a home. So in actuality, there is never a bad time to buy a home. Now, people have said, well, I'm going to wait until the prices of houses go down. Well, guys, <laughs> what have we seen? You know, since we got came out of the pandemic, prices have increased. A lot of people have been moving, working from home, so prices have gone up. So those of you that have said, I'm going to wait till they come down, you may be waiting for a long time because they may come down a little bit in certain seasons or, or months and that's what we're going to talk about but as far as dropping to where they were before three years ago even a year ago that's going to be hard to see all right so if it is always a good time to buy why haven't a lot of people done it well others have said well i'm gonna wait for the interest rate to drop now guys yeah they are talking about dropping the rates it's going to be an election year so the feds are going to want to do something to encourage people, right? And that's what they're going to do. They're going to drop the rates, which is great. But now think about it. If they drop the rates, there's a lot of people waiting. What is that going to do with the value of the homes? You're going to be competing with a lot of other people because you got a lower rate going after the same homes because they're around the same price range that you know you could probably afford as well so it's going to drive the prices up so yes you might get a, a you know a lower interest rate but it's going to drive the prices then you're going to be overpaying and what usually happens when they drop the interest rates okay so you could always buy a home now and refinance later when the rates do do drop and that's great you could always do that but now you could always wait until they do drop compete with everybody else but the prices of homes are not going to drop so it all depends on what you'd like to do. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a, a little graph of what happens. You know, when is it the best time? If you are going to buy a home, would it be in the summer or winter? Now, some that move in have really hard months during the winter. Snowy, cold. So a lot of people wait until spring or summer. But let's take a view of what happens during the summer okay guys so i pulled up the graph and that's what we're going to look at we're going to look at what happened in december of 2022 then january february and see what happens all right so this is the number of homes here right here it starts december 22 there was 469 homes available okay and as you can see it steadily goes down the numbers january 430 uh, february 399 these are the number of listings 
and then there's 378 now we're in march so as you can see in march the number starts coming down and then it goes up the number of listings but this is just number of listings but look at what happens here it drops all the way down in july it drops down to 384 the number of listings the number of homes available and then it goes up all the way in December of this year it went up to 539 homes available here in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Well, what does all this mean? Well, let's look at the ones, the homes here, on um, the ones that actually sold, sold listing or sold homes. In December, 159 sold in December of 2022. In December of 2022, uh, 157 homes sold. And then January, how many sold? 122. And then 136, 171. Do you guys see this is this is March? You see the number starting to go up, the number of homes sold. That means there are more people moving into Las Cruces. And what's gonna happen with the prices? You're gonna start competing, right? And then what happens in April? 169 sold. In May, look the number, 183 homes sold. July. July, the number of homes sold. 210 homes so you can see the graph right when there's a lot more home selling is during your months of april may june july that's the most homes being sold now what happens in uh, september well actually in august they start dropping down to see, look, 186 then it drops to 160 homes being sold and then this is uh, october drops to 126 homes and then november of this year 139 so this month of december which we're still at the last days it's going to drop even less so what does this mean well this means is that more people now there's more homes available during the winter and it's understandable because people don't want to move during those times there's a lot of reasons why they decide not to move now there's a huge increase in the months of May, June, July, especially July. During those three months, there's a lot of movement. And that's because that's when people are moving. It's easier for them to move in the summer. But what does this mean? Well, this means that for the same home that is listed, you're gonna have a lot more people going after that home. It only makes sense. You have more people moving in the summer. You have more people competing for the same houses. So what happens? This drives the price. The price goes up. Now you have uh, people from California coming in or other states that are homes are more expensive. Colorado, Florida. A lot of people from Florida are moving to Las Cruces. You know, they're tired of paying all these taxes for um, not only property taxes, but also insurances because of the hurricanes. So a lot of people moving in with money so they can afford to pay above the listing price. Now, but not everyone can do that. See, so the question is when, what months? Well, the best months are the months that are the slowest. October, November, December. Those are the time when you can negotiate as well more for a price or ask for uh, incentives as well so you guys if you guys are thinking of waiting you're gonna wait till you know um, june july and august then guys be expecting to pay more and it's not me saying it it's analytics it's the numbers the numbers are ran and any and you can ask any uh, realtor that you know they'll, they'll they'll tell you as, as well they can explain the numbers so if you are thinking of buying or moving down to Las Cruces, New Mexico, my wife and I, Tania, would love to help you out. Uh, we're a team. You get two, right? And then you get two realtors helping you. When I can, she can. We have a big team backing us up as well. So we will be more than happy to help you make a smooth move to Las Cruces, New Mexico. Guys, if you guys have any comments, any questions, please feel free to reach out. Please share our channel with you if you find our videos are helpful. We're always uh, getting suggestions as far as content. You let us know, guys. What's your concerns? What would you like us to talk about? We got some upcoming videos talking about the water here in Las Cruces, New Mexico. That's going to be pending. And uh, we're going to talk about that. What to expect if you do move out? Well, stay tuned. So, guys, uh, we'd love for you to share the channel. 
with friends and family. If you know somebody here in Las Cruces as well, uh, if you would like places to visit, you know, I, I usually like to um, visit a place and talk about an area. And it might not be in the same community, but it's within Las Cruces. So if you do come out and visit, you can visit those places. Well, guys, thank you guys so much for seeing our videos. Once again, if you have any comments, any ideas about our, our video content, please reach out and let us know. And we'll be, we're more than happy guys to answer any questions. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next video.